Hi guys, something a little bit different for you today. It's not particularly Android related, if I'm honest, but um, I, I like gadgets and it's a funky little gadget. Um, it's another Inertech product. So I've done a couple of Inertech products over the years. And generally I find them to be very good quality. So when they offered me uh, this docking station, I thought I'd give it a look. Um, so the theory being, it's a USB 3 to SATA. So in other words, I'm assuming I've got this uh, solid state drive here that I'm assuming I can basically plug into this docking station and then plug in via USB into my PC. Um, it takes two and a half inch like so and three and a half inch which is your more standard uh, spinning disk hard drive. Um, two and a half inch will be a laptop or as I show you the solid state that I have here. It looks like it goes up to four terabyte and it says it's dust proof for whatever that means to you. I guess it means dust won't get inside when you're using it obviously. Uh, it tells us there what's in the, in the package, which we're going to have a look at in a second. It tells us here, 5 gigabytes per second, USB 3, hot swap, driver free and high quality. Um, so on, on that note, let's go ahead and open the box up. Wow. Now I had thought the box itself was quite big, but that's because actually... That case is quite big. Let's let's we'll come back to that in one second. Let's just check if there's anything else. Okay, so underneath we have a power cable and apparently a bit of sponge. Which I assume has a sticky back. So let's move the box out of the way. Uh, the power cable looks to be their own their own thing. Um, well, I'm assuming that. So, oh, no, sorry, that's not the power cable. I do apologise. That's the USB cable. The power cable is, is it's one. I thought it was a plug that went into the. My mistake. So that's your. It's a switching adapter. Oh, um, well, there you go. That's that's the power, and that's that's the actual USB. So that's going to plug into your computer, and that's obviously going to go into the dock. Both things plug in there. Look. So the USB there, and the power in there. Uh, we then have an actual power switch next to it. Clicks in and out. Just get them both out of the way again for a second though. So that is that is quite a big, that's quite a big dock. It's got obviously a protective plastic, which is particularly ugly and I want to get rid of. There we go. That seems quite a big enclosure. Um, but I suppose if it's going to hold the three and a half inch as well, but if I'm, <laughs> I want to put that inside it, look, there is there is a bit of a size mismatch. I don't know what that sponge is for just yet. Um, so pull it says, and actually I kind of pushed. Um, well, that, that looks kind of weird to me. So we're literally just going to... Uh, okay, so even surely, uh, really, really I need a three and a half inch drive, I guess that is that is about an inch isn't it, yeah, if, that, if that's two and a half, yeah, so I guess a bigger drive it would fill that entirely, um, I mean, like, it feels a little, it does feel a little plasticky, but I mean I guess that's fine, obviously it is made of plastic, so it feeling plasticky shouldn't come as a surprise. Um, Slide, yeah, so that slides on runners all the way along. Um, okay, well, I guess the next thing to do is to uh, is to plug it in and try it out, I suppose. So the first thing that I noticed, actually, it powers up just by plugging in the USB. Um, no need for the power at this point, maybe because I'm using a solid state drive. When I turn the power on, we look and you can hear the kind of the uh, the device found noise from the PC and it appears in the disk drives, but it doesn't appear in my file menu in my computer. Um, what I decided to do in the end because that's what I really I thought well I just need to assign a letter to the drive but it wouldn't let me basically so I figured do you know what let's just I don't think well almost certainly there's nothing like that I need 
Let's start afresh. Delete away these bits I don't need. And then it lets me go ahead and, and set the drive up. Now, hopefully, you probably don't need to do this. I think it's just because my drive is very old and, well, not very old, but I've been used for a long time and God knows what was on it. So let's go ahead and call it inner text just so I know which one it is. And then it, uh, it has a drive letter and should show up once it's uh, finished formatting. There it is. And there it is now showing up. And just to check, I'm going to create a, a text document which, uh, which works fine. So then as I power it down and then power it back on again, as you would hope, you know, you don't have to keep going through. It's not going to ask me to delete things again. I can just go ahead and browse in and there's my test document. So everything all fine there. So the next step, I suppose, is to uh, speed test the drive. At this point, it's actually plugged into a USB 2 port, not a USB 3 that it's capable of. Um, you can see it's recording sort of 25 megasecond write speed. Now, this test took a very long time, so magically, here are the results. Um, 31 megabits per second read, so I mean, not massively fast, but fast enough. I mean, you saw it transferring a 800 gig file, no problems there particularly. Uh, total scores look 46. So I thought, let's just compare that, just give you a brief glimpse of what my regular solid state drive will do look, and that's clocking in at 200 odd write and 500 odd read. Uh, now that's actually the same type of drive, but obviously it's not in the caddy. Now it's into a USB 3 port. You can see now it is it is producing some better speeds, 37. I mean, not drastically. It's still only a, well, almost a tenth of uh, of the speed as if it was a direct link. But you know, we're not using this thing for the speed. We're using it for its convenience, being able to hop swap drives in and out. Um, and 30 odd megasecond. And there's the final results. So you do see it scores a lot better um, as the plugged into the USB 3 port. Uh, my motherboard, I think, is four years old, and it has a USB 3, so you should be fine, even with relatively old boards like mine. Uh, they are just two specific ports. That's how I had it plugged into the USB 2 initially. I hadn't checked uh, which was 2 and which was 3. So, on and all, it's, it's quite a nice little thing. I mean, like I say, obviously, it doesn't, it won't give you the speeds as for my solid-state drive they would if it was plugged directly into the PC but it's a neat little bit of kit and if you do have a lot of drives knocking around it could be very handy for you. £27 on Amazon right now. My name's Andy. I'll catch you all again soon.